Doug Kide here at Gillette Stadium at practice fields with fellow Patriots beat reporter Zach Cox. And this was the last off-season workout session open to the media. So we're going to talk about some uh, breakouts and some standouts and all that good stuff. Zach, offensive side of the ball, who really stood out to you the most over this last you know month uh, that we got to see these practices? I'd have to say it's the guy that everybody's really going to have their eye on the most this offseason, and that's Jimmy Garoppolo. He, right now, as every Patriots fan knows, he is the kind of presumptive starter in week one, unless uh, Tom Brady gets a, gets a overturning of his four-game suspension. And I mean, it's obviously hard to tell what, uh, what a guy can really do when guys are running around in shorts and uh, shorts and t-shirts out here. But Jimmy looked great. I mean, I thought he, he was especially strong at the beginning of camp. He kind of went downhill a little bit near the end, but they also, the, uh, the, the competitiveness kind of kind of went downhill, especially yep. on this last day. They oh, really basically had maybe an hour of like really hard work. And then they're kind of a lot of walkthroughs, a lot of that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah, I'd say on the offensive side of the ball, Chris Hogan was probably my number one standout yep. just because he's a guy coming into the system new. A lot of these guys struggled to pick up the system right away. Chris Hogan didn't have Julian Edelman and Danny Amendola out there kind of to kind of assist him or help him. But he looked like he'd been in the system for four or five years already. Uh, we finally saw him drop a football today, and it was during like a three-quarter speed drill. So he's been very solid, very effective. Uh, and, you know, like you said, it's shorts and T-shirts. Who knows how much these guys can actually do when the pads come on. But the fact that Chris Hogan did look so comfortable in shorts and T-shirts, definitely a good sign. Yeah, I uh, thought he really benefited from the fact that neither Amendola yeah. nor Edelman were out here. So he really he got a ton of reps. He Absolutely. was really in there. I feel like he, him and both Brady and Garoppolo were kind of jiving pretty well. Yep. And yeah, he's another guy you have to like what you've seen so far. Absolutely, yeah. Other receivers, Keyshawn Martin, Nate Washington, those guys st stood out as well. Uh, defensive side of the ball, any standouts in particular? I feel like with these kind of unpadded practices, it's harder for defensive players to stand mm -hmm. out than it is for offensive players. Absolutely. But just just about this last day alone, I liked what I saw from Jonathan Jones. Yep. He's the uh, the undrafted rookie out of um, out of Auburn. He had four pass deflections today, including one a breakup of a Tom Brady pass, which yep. was the only incompletion Brady had all day. And again, harder for these defensive guys to break mm -hmm. through. They can't really hit these guys much. They can't. Yeah. It's it's kind of uh, kind of deck stacked against them. But, Absolutely. Uh, but as a guy, kind of an unheralded guy coming in, I liked what I saw from him. Yeah, it was almost a Malcolm Butler slash Daryl Roberts esque performance mm -hmm. out of Jones. Just a breakout like that at the end of a, a session like this. And. He's definitely competing for one of those final cornerback roles. My defensive player, Rob Ninkovich, he's out there in a new position, playing middle linebacker. We're allowed to talk about it because he talked about it, you know, <laughs> circumventing those <laughs> Patriots rules there. Uh, but he had an interception in the first session that we saw out here. Uh, he's looked pretty comfortable dropping back. So that'll do it for us for the entire off-season workout sessions. We will be back for training camp that starts in late July.